If you travel with a motorcycle, you will know that sometimes there will be a, a day or maybe days that you have to cover many kilometers and when you don't have highways, this is not that easy. But instead of riding like a crazy and breaking the speed limits and risk a lot, you have to be just very strict rider. What I mean by that is just very early start stops once per two hours and when you stop you have to be very efficient i mean petrol food toilet everything at the same time so you don't have to stop every half or an hour or one hour to do something else and uh, if you follow these rules you'll be able to do it today i need to cover like five six hundred kilometers and now it's 12 o'clock this is still spanish time one hour ahead and i already covered like uh, let me see how many more than 330 kilometers and just because follow these rules so around six maximum seven in the evening i'll be able to do it good morning from aljustrel this is the whole town around 2000 people and this is the location of this historical windmill and uh, on this site there is a big uh, copper and uh, zinc mine also this this part here and uh, Paolo told me that 800 people from the village actually works in these facilities and this is the southest point of my trip from here I will ride only north across the whole Portugal as east as possible very close to Spanish border and then slowly slowly getting back home and even if I'm very strict right every day I still got like 5,000 kilometers to get back and does mean even if I ride every day like 500 kilometers which is almost impossible I still need at least 10 days but I'll say it'll be like two weeks before I get back home the time is never enough and I did what I can now I'm ready to go back Alright, as I said, I don't have much time to waste. Better is to go. Beautiful little town. I really enjoy my time here. Paolo and Karina were wonderful hosts. Uh, they treated me really well, like a super VIP guest. And I really appreciate that. In Portugal, most of the petrol stations starts working at 7 o'clock. And they have people there, so they are not like, like Italy. Yeah, everything is just like a normal operating town so I haven't got problems to fill the tank or to do something like I usually do it's not like Italy very very nice very nice nice people nice area I enjoy it this now is N2 road which is the famous road going from uh, north to south now I'll go from south to north I'll use it maybe for at least I don't know, maybe 50-60 kilometers at the beginning before I turn right into the east. So the moment is 16 degrees. I have a short sleeves and a bit I'm a bit cold at the moment. But I know that all of this will change after just few hours and it will become like over 30. So it is what it is, just hold it and uh, I'll be alright after maybe two hours. I don't want to put any clothes now on the top. Eight o'clock in the morning, of course, no people. Anyway, some of these places I visited uh, yesterday on the way down, some of them are new. But I always enjoyed this views and early morning rides and no people and calmness. Ah, it's very good, very, very good. I told you that uh, because of the many kilometers that I have to cover today I have to be very efficient and write uh, as, as more as possible but this also means that I have to be very strict with the stops otherwise the fatigue will uh, accumulate and I won't be able to continue so two hours are left since I start and it is time to make a stop eat something and then continue and uh, 
I think this that is always good option to at least see some of these small beautiful towns this is the town of uh, Estremos let me find a place near center so I can make my break and see something at the same time Three hours are gone and I've got around 200 kilometers which is exactly what I have been expected so all good now uh, I still have plenty of time and I believe that I'll be on my final destination around 4 to 5 o'clock in the afternoon we'll see First tank is gone. I've got like four hours riding so far, and it is time to make another stop in this small town uh, and continue in the last maybe 150 kilometers. I backtracking the same routes that I came here, but this is the shortest way that I have now to the north and I don't want to have any additional kilometers because I already had more than enough for today so far around 300 kilometers all right this will be a good place to stop I have made a little longer stop like 30 40 minutes or 30 minutes but I got coffee I filled the tank and this will be the main stop for the day the rest will be just 15-20 minutes and I still got like 250, almost 300 kilometers to my final point for the day. If you travel with a motorcycle, you'll know that sometimes there will be a, a day or maybe days that you have to cover many kilometers and when you don't have highways, this is not that easy. But instead of riding like a crazy and breaking the speed limits and risk a lot, you have to be just very strict rider. What I mean by that is just very early start, stops once per two hours and when you stop you have to be very efficient. I mean petrol, food, toilet, everything at the same time so you don't have to stop every half or an hour or one hour to do something else. And uh, if you follow these rules you'll be able to do it. Today I need to cover like five, six hundred kilometers and now it's 12 o'clock, this is still Spanish time, one hour ahead and I already covered like, uh, let me see how many more than 330 kilometers and just because follow these rules so around 6 maximum 7 in the evening I'll be able to do it every time when I have to ride slow like now because of this village I use the opportunity to stand on the pegs to release the pressure from my boot and this really helps on the long days at least the road became a little bit more interesting going through the forests and ups and down and left and right and some curves because until now was really boring straight road nothing to see
another two hours are gone but there is no place to stop I cross a few villages yeah absolutely like empty there is nothing there so hmm, as I can see here in the near five kilometers is nothing but anyway I'm gonna wait I think I'm ready to eat something but I have to wait this is another village without people oh finally from nowhere a big petrol station with bar and everything where is the entrance on the other side all right let me go here find something to eat relax for 15 20 minutes and continue good All right, let's do the last 200 kilometers or a little less maybe and I hope I will find a place to sleep if not I'm gonna use my tent not a big deal of course now when I don't need it I have <laughs> town or village and probably there will be at least a few coffees that you can sit but all of this is when you don't need it This landscape here is like a moon landscape all of these big stones everywhere and rocks very interesting and here is 31 degrees like a rock desert last section here was fantastic fantastic I enjoyed it so much maybe one hour just this move twisty roads excellent excellent okay so now I'm gonna cross on the other side through this bridge And this road now will be even, even better. This is the same river that I saw on the way to Portugal. It is going from uh, Spain to Portugal. This is the town and I think on the other side is Spain. Miranda do Duro. This is the place I am going. This is Miranda de Duro, it's 
so far I got 600 kilometers, but I'm not gonna stop here because it is still 4:30. So I will continue riding in Spain at least at least 100 more kilometers, and then I will try to find a place to sleep. Welcome back to Spain. The famous Douro River. Big dam here, a big dam. I check with uh, bookings.com the few nearby towns. But the prices were 50-60 euros for hotels, so it looks like I'm gonna open the tent somewhere. But not yet. Alright, at least two more hours to become like 8 o'clock and then I'll try to find a good place to open the tent and sleep for tonight. Because I'm not gonna pay this money for hotel. This is the petrol for how much? For 600 kilometers. So yeah, if I see campground, I'll go to the campground because I'll have power to charge the batteries and stuff. But if not, I will go to wild camping, but it needs to be a little bit late. This is Zamora. The cheapest option that I found here was 70 euros. I don't know why this, this place is so expensive. All right, it has this beautiful wall here, bridge, some old parts historical parts that's why maybe I think that I'll be perfectly fine here I don't think that anyone will come this will be my place let me open the tent ready what i'm gonna do now is just move the bike over there undress and go into the tent i have my power bank to charge the telephone it is too hot at the moment but it will be all right after maybe one hour when the sun set all good see you tomorrow <laughs> 